Well, hi folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and I've got a tip for you. Well, it's actually answering a question that I get asked from time to time because um, I know a lot of people know that you can use the adjustment brush and after you've made your edit, you can move the edit. And the question I get asked is, why would I ever want to do that? So I thought I would show you here real quickly. So uh, these are some shots uh, from a, a shoot I did recently. And if you notice every shot or so, I've zoomed in a little or zoomed out so my subject is in a in a different location right so here's what we, here's how you would use this select all all right and then make sure auto sync is on that way whatever i do to the first image will happen to all the other images what i want to do is make her scarf brighter so we're going to get the adjustment brush i made the exposure a little brighter opened up the shadows and whites okay it doesn't really matter what you did but here's what i'm going to do I'm going to paint over her scarf and make it brighter. So you can see that right here. And looks like I spilled a little over, so I'm gonna hold the Option key and just kind of get rid of that right there. Okay, so there's my basic edit, but now you know that is on every photo. But her scarf isn't in the same place on every photo. So watch, here's what we do. Let's just deselect. Let's go to the next image. And of course, if I get the adjustment brush, you'll see there's already a pin, but it's way over here and it's off. So here's what you're going to do. Press the letter O on your keyboard so you can actually see the adjustment. Now what we can do is just move it right over the spot. And we can go quickly through here since they're already high. That one's all right. Wow, we got lucky there, didn't we? All right, move this one over and you can quickly see how that ability to be able to move those adjustments over actually is pretty darn handy. Okay, so just wanted to give you a quickie on that to let you know how that works. Hey, if you're into Lightroom, and I know you are, you know why? Because you're watching the Lightroom tutorial. I've got a whole bunch of them, but I want to tell you about my new class. i got a brand new class. It's called the Slim System for Organization. So that's called the Simplified Lightroom image management system it is not for high-end pros it's not for people who sell stock photography or anything like that but it's for the whole rest of the world that wants to know a super easy simple way to not only organize your images in Lightroom but to make sure that your catalog is backed up and that your images are backed up and you're fully backed up and you know where all your stuff is you're finally organized and you're happy you can go watch this over at kelbyone.com take the 10-day free trial watch it right now and you're good to go Hey guys, thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.